you see a pile of stones covered in a fine layer of dust and ash, sprinkle more ash on the pile of stones. Let's do this. Who awakes Gasrath from his slumber? Deckers. Gasroth doesn't appreciate uh, being brought to this world. Rooks. Let's see if I missed anything. Oops. Sorry, no.
That one hit. That one. Great, no. this do through sheer force of will the character remains in control on the battlefield gaining a slight increase to attack damage while being immune to stun or knockdown effects for the duration of this mode that's pretty good Sunder arms Dead. Come on. Please drop anything. Well, Jory only fainted three times. Mm -hmm. So that's something. What have we here? 
Are you a vulture, I wonder? A scavenger, poking amidst a corpse whose bones were long since cleaned? Or merely an intruder, come into these dark spawn-filled wilds of mine in search of easy prey? What say you, hmm? Scavenger or intruder? Intruder. <laughs> because I know them as only one who owns them could. Can you claim the same? I have watched your progress for some time. Where do they go, I wondered. Why are they here? And now, you disturb ashes none have touched for so long. Why is that? Oh, you fear barbarians will swoop down upon you. Yes, swooping is bad. She's a witch of the wild, she is. She'll turn us into toads. Witch of the wilds. Such idle fancies, those legends. Have you no minds of your own? You there. Women do not frighten like little boys. Tell me your name and I shall tell you mine. And you may call me Morrigan, if you wish. Shall I guess your purpose? You sought something in that chest? Something that is here no longer? Here no longer? You stole them, didn't you? You're some kind of sneaky witch thief. How very eloquent. How does one steal from dead men? Quite easily, it seems. Those documents are Grey Warden property, and I suggest you return them. I will not, for it was not I who removed them. Invoke a name that means nothing here any longer if you wish. I am not threatened. was my mother, in fact. Yes, my mother. Did you assume I spawned from a log? A thieving, weird talking log, perhaps? Not all in the wilds are monsters. Flowers grow as well as toads. If you wish, I will take you to my mother. Tis not far from here, and you may ask her for your papers, if you like. We should get those treaties, but I dislike this. Morrigan's sudden appearance. It's too convenient. Have I been dishonest? Some call us witches, yes, but purely out of superstition. You know what the Circle of Magi is, don't you? The Circle requires an accounting of all mages. That is the law of the land and the Chantry. If you wish to tell your Chantry about me, go ahead. I have nothing to fear from priests. Why not? I do not meet many people here. Are you all so mistrustful? She prefers her privacy, but I imagine she will be curious enough why you are here. Come, see for yourself. She'll put us all in the pot, she will. Just you watch. If the pot's warmer than this forest, it'd be a nice change. Follow me then, if it pleases you. Greetings, Mother. I bring before you four Grey Wardens who... I see them, girl. Hmm. Much as I expected. Are we supposed to believe you were expecting us? You are required to do nothing, least of all believe. Shut one's eyes tight or open one's arms wide. Either way, one's a fool. She's a witch, I tell you. We shouldn't be talking to her. Quiet, Darith. If she's really a witch, do you want to make her mad? There is a smart lad. Sadly irrelevant to the larger scheme of things, but it is not I who decides. Believe what you will. 
And what of you? Does your elven mind give you a different viewpoint? What do you believe? Oh, if you must protest so quickly, perhaps I need not ask. So much about you is uncertain, and yet I believe. Do I? What? It seems I do. So this is a dreaded witch of the wild. Witch of the wild, huh? Morrigan must have told you that. She fancies such tales, though she would never admit it. Oh, how she dances under the moon. <laughs> We did not come to listen to your wild tales, Mother. True. They came for their treaties, yes? And before you begin barking, your precious seal wore off long ago. I have protected these. You... Oh, you protected them. And why not? Take them to your Grey Wardens and tell them this Blight's threat is greater than they realize. Either the threat is more, or they realize less. Or perhaps the threat is nothing. <laughs> or perhaps they realize nothing. <laughs> oh, do not mind me. <laughs> you have what you came for. Time for you to go, then. Do not be ridiculous, girl. These are your guests. Oh, very well. I will show you out of the woods. Follow me. Back in Astagar. Save. Well, save for now. Let's talk to our companions. Yes? I grew up in a village about a day's trip to the east. Little blot you wouldn't even find on a map. Haven't been back in years. I struck out for the city as soon as I could outrun my pa. I've been in Denerim for what? Six years now. Never liked it much, but there's more purses there than anywhere else. And a pickpocket, thank you very much. Or was, anyhow. Who'd ever guess I'd end up a Grey Warden? I found them. I cut Duncan's purse while he was standing in a crowd. He grabs my wrist, but I squirm out and bolt. The old bugger can run, but the garrison caught me first. I'm a wanted man in Denerim, you see, so they were gonna string me up right there. Duncan stopped them, invoked the right of conscription. I gave the garrison the finger while I was walking away. Don't know why Duncan wants someone like me, but he says finesse is important and that I'm fast with a blade. <laughs> you bet your boots I am. Besides, it beats getting strung up. <laughs> it does. All right for an old bugger. He's faster than he looks too. We got everything, so let's go back. I'm hungry. Hey, I'm following you, aren't I? Okay, so jury. I am ready. I hail from Redcliffe, but Duncan recruited me in Hyover, a city off the northern coast. Have you traveled there? I was in Arl Eamon's retinue when he attended King Marek's funeral. It was in Hyover that I met my Helena. I was smitten. She has the most beautiful eyes, my Helena. Now, for years, I found any excuse to return there. We married a year ago. Arl Eamon gave me leave to serve in Hyover, but I was attempting to persuade Helena to come to Redcliffe with me. At least, until I was recruited. Never. I will return to her once my duty is done and the Blight defeated. Last month, Duncan visited Hyover, and the ban held a tournament in his honor. I won the Grand Melee. It was hard to leave my wife. We married only a year ago, and she is heavy with child now. But Ferelda needs my blade, and I shall not falter. He has a seemingly impossible task, 
with a scarce handful of Grey Wardens, yet he does not complain or flinch from his duty. We should go back to Duncan. If we are fortunate, we've completed the joining and all passed. Indeed. Let's get back to Duncan quickly. If we wait too long, you won't be able to swing a dead cat without hitting a darkspawn. Yep, that's right.